I think there's a lot of things that are going to open eyes for people. As an example, just in a one brief conversation with you, um, you're like, yeah, yeah, every time that you do a chat GBT question, this is what the demand of power is from mm -hmm. AI as a byproduct of that. Get, what's like, throw some nuggets out here. What are those impacts that AI has on power demand right now that some people don't even understand. Yeah. I mean, it, it's hard to quantify because you don't know exactly where it's happening, right? Is one of the challenges. So it's in the cloud, right? That's where when you <laughs> sit down and you, or you grab your app and you type into chat GPT. Um, and even if you ask chat GPT, I asked them like, how much power do you use? And it's like, well, I don't know. I mean, you should be Been concerned. Trained. <laughs> yeah. You should be concerned that it doesn't want to answer that That's question funny. directly. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I've heard other people, I've heard, you know, Bill Kleinman, you know, say, say things like, you know, it could charge your phone one, you know, like sitting down asking chat GPT a handful of times, like you might be able to charge your phone, like tens of times, maybe as many as 60 times over per question. Per, yeah. Or like, it's like Whatever four questions, is. like a session. A few questions. Yeah. But yes, a few questions. That's what the power, like people are like, this is incredible. I could ask it what my favorite color is. Every time I do that, boom, boom, boom. And it's That's just right. power hitting. It's people don't realize that. It's thousands of Google searches. Yes. Like four questions to chat GPT is thousands upon thousands of Google searches. And that's how different the efficiency is. The other one that's huge that shocked me is every session's a bottle of water. Mm. Every question's a bottle of water? Yes. Because that's how much cooling it takes from the manufacturing of every component that goes into a data center and the element of cooling in itself? No, from the cooling of the data center environment. Just the cooling. Just the cooling. Not the manufacture. Question. Yeah, that makes way more sense. So if you, if you look at, um, and I forget, it's somewhere in the Midwest. But Hold what on. I, I want to make sure that you say that again so yeah. people listen, because that's bananas. Every time you have one of those series of questions, whether it's, it's like, one, it's two, like four or three. Or five, yeah. It's a bottle of water. It's a, every time you sit down for a session at ChatGPT, it's a bottle of water. Think you, about that, gone. nerds. Uh -huh. So it came out of the ground, and depending on how that data center was cooled, now it's in the atmosphere. And it'll rain somewhere else eventually, maybe the ocean, but wherever that was consumed, that water is no longer there. And That's amazing. You know, to, to back up that data. That's perspective, though, right? So there will be people that are listening, hopefully – you know, my team makes that part of the commercial drip and they do the teaser drips because I'm like, that's ridiculous. People don't know that. No. You look at, um, there's, you know, when Microsoft partnered with and acquired or invested in OpenAI and they brought OpenAI into their data centers, their water consumption went up 30% overnight. <gasps> From all the demand of additional cooling that came as a byproduct, that need of more right. power got you. All right, well, look, man. Just that, the cooling. But it, but hold on a second. So that's the sneakiness. So hold it on. it feels familiar. But how come we couldn't catch that in an OCP lab or some shit? Or like, there's got, like, how, how are we beta testing shit in the field still? Like, I figured everything was being done with all you nerds with like slide rulers and shit somewhere in like, I don't know, New Mexico, I guess is where they had, I'm only guessing where you guys do your shit at, right? But like, I'm expecting like nerds to figure these things out before it goes live. See, this is the danger I talked about. Like the reason why this one is hard is because it's gonna surprise everybody. Wow. Including the engineers working on the stuff, including the operators running the data centers, including the construction teams building the data centers. This thing's gonna pull the rug out from underneath us because it feels so familiar because it's using a lot of the same pieces, but in a totally different way.